morning all, pulling out the garage, and we're off on another test ride. Guess what? It's another Aurora. Yes, we're shifting these things left, right, and centre. Loads of the damn things going out at the moment. So, we're out on the test ride, and we've got to rack the time up as quick as we can, because I am on a tight schedule today. Got a lot to do. And uh, two test rides, five lots of MOTs, and a tyre change on a CB500. So that is going to be fun. Front and rear tyres, and the main stand is absolutely jammed on. So that's going to be a paddock stand and strap job. Oh, the bane of my life with frozen main stands. Put a bit of grease on them, peoples. But we're out on the aura. Digital display, speedo to the left, rev counter to the right. Combined braking, front brake there, and rear brake pulls it down like so. 70% and 30% to the front. Low speed handling, very good. You can literally roll at about 2 mile an hour on one of these. Handles exceptionally well. But we're out, we're going to hook the outside lane. I am going to go and crank up some mileage, and lo and behold, I've left my winter jacket at home. Oh god, it's freezing. I've got my body armour on and my little hoodie, so I am getting cold arms, cold legs, cold whatevers already. Right, as I said to the team, needs must, bike's got to be ridden, someone's got to do it, and unfortunately, the poor sucker is me, as always. Right, on the uh, display down there, fuel on the left, battery voltage on the right, big miles an hour in the centre, time... Outside temperature in Celsius, it's 31 degrees C, uh, 31 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, that's probably about 4 degrees, they did say it was about 6 today, it's Halloween today, trick or treat, yeah, and all the palaver of that, right, we are away, now, it's dinner time, so you can expect all the idiots on the road, But we're going to ramp some miles up. Go down the dual carriageway, do a little bit of urban, back to the garage, warm myself up with a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, does it notice my voice is uh, shaky a bit because I'm freezing cold? Yeah, extreme technical. Oh, whatever. <laughs> it's a high on die, come on. <sighs> What's extreme or technical about a high on die? Absolutely nothing. Right, we are going round. Follow the little red car. Coming off here. Right, let's head to the A5. Let's crank some mileage up now. No notice. We are at K's on the clock. Yes. So I'm not actually doing 53 mile an hour, it's 54k. Now, for purposes of ride testing, 30 mile an hour works out at 48k. Bang on 40 works out at 60, believe it or not. Coming on the combined brake, yes, it stops very well. Right, we're off to this lane over here. Now, two little rubber buttons down the bottom right of that main screen. You press the left one, you can set the time up. If you press the right one, you can set the display to kilometres or miles. So, depending on what country you're in, in the UK we're miles, but I understand kilometres, so do a little bit of foreign riding. So, we'll leave it in case for the moment. There we go. 60k it is 40 mile an hour. So, if I'm 60 to 65, I know I'm doing the correct speed. Now, through the corners, we are heading off on this side. We're going to go down the A5, past the garden centre, back to the garage. That is going to be enough for me. That's going to be the first five miles that we cranked up for our customer Charlotte. Yes, female rider on this one. And it's a great scooter if you happen to be male or female because it is a maxi sized scooter so a little bit bigger than your standard scooter it's damn sight more comfortable and these are very very similar 
to the WKMXI. I like both. I like the Aura and I like the MXI. Both do a great job. Maxi size scooter, plenty of storage under the seat. You're not going to get a helmet under there, but you've got that little bit of screen. Oh, God, that's cold. To deflect the wind. It doesn't do much. It looks good, but it doesn't deflect much. MXI has a bigger screen, so it does deflect the wind. But the screen on this, nah, is, is it going to deflect anything? Absolutely not. But from the front, it does look very nice. It's aesthetically eye-pleasing, as they say. He's back on the speed. It's running away with me. He's steady on RB. 40 mile an hour, please. So, 40 to 45 mile an hour for the first 500 miles. Or three months. Get your service out of the way. Then you can open the damn thing up and poddle along 50 to 55 for your next 2,500, 3,000 miles, depending on what bike you bought, but they're all rough, much of a norm, 2,500, 3,000 miles, six months, get your second service out of the way, and then you can go hell for leather. Now these will do, and I know, around about 65. Can get a little bit more, depends on the weight of the rider. But they are a great scooter for ripping around on. They do a great job. And they're very comfortable, so two positions to put your feet. The actual control is very easy to manage. Mirrors are nice. The bars feel great. What's more to say? It's, it does the job. Great little thing. And uh, if you happen to be an Uber or a Deliveroo, they now do an aftermarket rack for the back of this. So you can put a big pizza box on it. Hey! And probably make more money doing Deliveroo than I would doing anything else. Apart from working in the garage, that is. But, off the line, it shifts. I tell you, it shifts. It's got some good acceleration and torque there. And the engines in these are absolutely bomb-proof. You cannot wreck one of these, unless of course you run the thing out of oil. But these run absolutely perfect. They are a great scooter for trundling around on. Alright. Let's head back to the garage. Oh god, it's cold. How many times have I said that now? Oh, it's a freezing. I need to get back into the warm office and a cup of coffee. So, test mileage done. Quick rip around the block. Job done. Back to the garage. One final test ride to do for Charlotte on the their hand over or the day before before I give it clean and some ACF register the bike as always the Auras go absolutely fantastic and they are a great bike for the money same as the MXI is great bike for the money good size scoop twist and go no messing around with gears and slow down RB because the speed camera is coming here we go 39k through the camera nice and slow which is probably about uh, 25 mile an hour so if, as always if you enjoyed the video like share comment subscribe don't forget to mention the cold RB that is freezing his uh, little bits off And don't forget, live streams this week, Wednesdays, Peaky, Friday, myself, Bowman and Bike Show, 19th of November. And keep an eye out for the insurance video. That is coming up. I'll just preempt you on that one. Insurance video coming up. Uh, my own personal experience of dealing with insurance companies. So it's going to be an interesting one, that. But until next time we're out riding, guys. Be well. Ride safe. And from RB, as always, it's a big goodbye from me.